Halo Marsha, assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. What's with the turtleneck? Hmm? Same. Did you just go somewhere? No, I just want to wear something warm. It's hot today, terribly hot. I keep sweating no. all the time. Yeah, but because my table is right. Worth it. Close to the air conditioner. It's close to the air conditioner, so it's cold. My aircon is 19 degrees and I still feel super hot. It's 22 degrees. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like when you're wearing a turtleneck, it is a cold day in Indonesia, at least. Cool day elsewhere. And or you're about to go somewhere. No. Wait. How are you? <laughs> How are you, what? by the way? How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> but I was like, um, I supposed to break my fast at my cafe. But a few minutes before I got... What? A few minutes before I got... Why? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I was like, why? Oh, no. <laughs> it's all. Um... I taught you to be patient. Like, yeah, what else can we do? Humans can only plan. Allah does everything else for us, right? Yes. Hmm. Oh, hi, Rafi. Assalamualaikum. Yeah. Oh, not Rafi, SpongeBob. Hello, Bar. Assalamualaikum. Hello, SpongeBob. <laughs> Everybody is drinking. Nice. I uh, like it. No, no, you, you need to keep yourself hydrated. So, uh, it's already the middle of Ramadan, no? Yes, yes, it's the middle. Yeah. I haven't seen the moon outside, though, so I don't know. Um, why, guys, why are you two turning off your video? Marsha, uh, an end citizen said hello. Another end citizen said hello to you. She immediately, when I showed her your video, she missed resonance at the back. What? I was like, huh? <laughs> the poster, the poster. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The resonance. Yeah. Hmm. So I was like, mm, I don't understand. Oh, Akbar is having the... Rafi, why did you change your purple t-shirt? It is more polite. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, all of you seem like you are about to go... Some... But you, you shaved. <laughs> what is going like, Marsha is wearing a turtleneck. Rafi changed his shirt, t shirt, Akbar shaved. Mind blowing. What are you all doing? Um, Akbar, this is uh, Lebaran, right? So, so? proper. <laughs> you, uh, uh, but I think your beard will grow again in two or three days. Yeah, but it's not that like before. Oh, okay. Lah. So uh, today we're going to talk about expanding. Wow. Expanding a paragraph into an essay. <laughs> so if you take a look at the, a paragraph, where do you find the topic sentence? <laughs> That's the first sentence. Got it. So a paragraph topic sentence is at the first sentence. However, when you expand it to make an essay, the topic sentence 
changed into the thesis statement. Now, if you take a look at this graph, there you go. You will find out that a paragraph, a good paragraph, has a topic sentence at the beginning of a paragraph, but a good essay has a thesis statement at the end of the introductory paragraph. Okay. If it's so, what's the thesis statement of this essay? Around of the fright in from to 540. You know, thesis statement. Is that lunch from No way. Strict the business are popular novels. Oh, Marcia didn't oh. get this then. Check again, Marcia. Let's check again. Where can you find a thesis statement? At the end. Oh. At the At end the of end. the introductory paragraph. So which one is the thesis statement? The benefits, the benefits of branding are strict business include low startup, mobility, etc. Got it. Thank you. Now, what's the thesis statement of this paragraph? Oh, paragraph, essay, sorry. Miss Indu has had a great influence on me through her rewards, rewards patience, and business leadership. There you go. Now that you can detect the thesis statement, we're going to go to the concluding paragraph. Take a look at this. When you talk about a paragraph, it has a concluding sentence at the end of the paragraph. But an essay has a concluding paragraph at the end of the essay. What does it do? The same as concluding sentence, it restates the thesis statement. Okay. And it also shows a final thought. So perhaps you want to ask people to do something. Or perhaps you want to give people something to think about. Or perhaps you want to criticize something. That's a final thought. Okay. Let's take a look at this again as the example. What did you say the thesis statement was? The, benefit, the benefits of running a certain business. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look at the concluding paragraph, it also talks about the benefits. You can use it to give back to the community. This is the benefit. And then talking about what else? Low startup cost. Low startup cost. It's here. It doesn't mm -hmm. require high startup cost. Remember, different sentence, but the same meaning. Okay, so the sentences should be different, but the meaning should stay the same. And then mobility. Okay. Mobility. Here, there is mobility. Yeah. And a per, uh, what else? Opportunity to give back to the community is here, sorry. Mm. In uh, the benefits, okay, there you go. And then it also has a final thought. What is the final thought of the concluding paragraph? Sorry. Final thought. It can be something for the readers to think about, something for the readers to do, something for the readers to criticize later. Yeah. Marsha, your audio is muted. Okay, although the concept of giving back may still be considered unusual, keep in mind that when you give back rather than so, solely, 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 solely. Okay. 
focusing on ma making profit, you'll be happier and your life will be more meaningful. Got it. That's the final mm -hmm. thought, especially this part. You will be happier and your life will be more meaningful. Okay, so this part is not in the introductory paragraph, uh, but uh -huh. it will give reader something to think about long after they read your essay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can be happier and my life can be more meaningful if I actually give back to other people. Hmm. That's something to think about. Oh, so it's something like that. Let's take a look at another example. Okay. What did you say was the thesis statement from this essay? Miss, Hen Miss Indri has had a great influence on me through her rewards, patience, and business mentorship. Got it. So, through reward, patience, and business patience. mentorship. If you take a look at this, in a nutshell, I wouldn't have become a successful entrepreneur the way I am now without Miss Indri's support. He mm -hmm. or the writer only restates her rewards, patience, and business mentorship into support includes all okay mm -hmm. and then he breaks or he or she breaks it down again into she not only paid me well treated me patiently so paid me well mm -hmm. rewards and then treated me patiently patience and then another sentence she even made me take the plunge to start my own business business mentorship but the restatement is support. There you go. What is the final thought of this concluding sent, uh, paragraph? Sorry. Therefore, if you want to therefore, be successful, find to be a successful good mentor. mentor. Excellent. So therefore, is this a criticism, a no. call for action, or something to think about? Something to think about. Something to think about. There you go. If you want to be successful, find a good mentor. There you go. This is a five paragraph essay. Ding dong. I know it's still too long for you to make a five paragraph essay. What do we have in the middle anyway? Explaining. Explanation, body paragraphs, okay? What does it do? What do they do? What's the function of body paragraph? Coffee has been quiet so far. <laughs> so, what do body paragraphs do? For thesis statement. For thesis statement? Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, hello. Okay. One, one more time, Rafi. I couldn't hear you. Support the thesis statement. Ah, thank you. To support the thesis statement. Got it. So, for example, uh, Marsha, last unit, you made a paragraph about Chanel. Okay. Now, yeah. when you talk about Chanel, how did she become so successful? You want to talk about that part, and that part should be in the body paragraph, not the introductory, mm -hmm. not the concluding. Okay, that's what you call the body paragraph. You explain how she gets to be, how she got to be so successful. Uh, I didn't get Rafi, Rafi's task, by the way. Adidas. Adidas. Why, why? Adidas. You didn't send me your task. Huh? Your task. Ah, oh, oh, paragraph about Adidas. Remember? Huh? Oh, Rafi forgets. Ding, 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 ding. 
Ding 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 ding. Oh, the one uh, with Google Docs. Ah, oh, oh, you didn't share the link. Ah, uh, my Google Docs is error. So I send my text in this Zoom chat last last week. Did did you? I didn't yeah. get it. Bar, chat. did you see Rafi's Zoom chat? Uh, I think I'm not sure. I think he's already sent. Uh -huh. Seriously? For good, for good. I'm not sure. I didn't see it. Where? I think he said it because he wants to copy paste the that he wait, wait. that he wants it type at in at the was it board? I don't know. Like annotate. Mm. I cannot find it. It means. No. Uh, well, I, uh, Akbar is talking about flannel t-shirt, shirt, shirt, t-shirt, shirt. So you can also explain in the body paragraph uh, the advantages maybe or the disadvantages, probably advantages mm -hmm. because you're talking about how it got to be so popular. So that can mm -hmm. be put in the paragraph. Okay. Now, okay. this is another difference between an essay and a paragraph. Take a look at number four. What does it say? Paragraph may have the title, but this essay has the title. Mm, compulsory. It's a must. <laughs> Yeah, you need to put a title to your essay. So a paragraph sometimes doesn't have a title, no problem. But an essay needs a title. Okay. Now let's take a look at this part. We are going to try to make it. No. Oh, so sorry. Hmm, how? How do I do this? Because you need to see the book. Miss, Miss. Miss, hello. Uh, oi, oi, oi. Can you send it back to me again, Rafi? Yeah, in chat. Chat. Uh, uh, chat here? Yeah, Zoom chat. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Well, this is tough. How about sending it to me? Uh, please put it in Google, oh, sorry, Word. Oh, it's okay though. We're going to use Rofi's paragraph and expand it into <laughs> an essay. Okay. So let's take a look at this. This is Rafi's uh, paragraph. Now, how are we going to make the, the introductory paragraph with this? What should we do first? Uh, put, uh, the, the title. The title, thank you. Let's put the title first. What title can you use for an essay about Adidas? Um, history of Adidas. The history of Adidas. Oh, that sounds boring. <laughs> how Adidas how, become famous. How Adidas became famous. Might be. Any ideas? Any other ideas? The successful of Adidas. <laughs> ah, success story of Adidas. Why not? Okay. So you have two options now. You don't have to write it first, but you already have your options. Sure, that's already in your mind. Now, what should we start our paragraph with? With the quote or something else, like the word, the tahu bulat, the maratusan. And just as uh, we talked about tahu bulat earlier with the t-shirt. 
Uh, okay, so you can use a quote, sure. Or you can use Adidas own words. Do you know what Adidas jargon is? Let's just do it. Is it what it is? Let's do it. It's Nike. Yo, what? easy. It's Adidas, right? <laughs> Find me Adidas jargon. Can you guess what? Jargon. What's that? What is jargon? Jargon. 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 Marsha is confused. What is jargon? Jargon is the a phrase or the words, something that make people remember a product or somebody. Adidas jargon. There is a... Ah, there you go. Impossible is nothing. Mm. Now you can start mm. with this also. So for example, you have this. Can somebody please write me impossible is nothing? Akbar is making dot dot. <laughs> but what are you doing with the dots? I okay, will. Marcia, thank you. I, I will clear. Impossible is, wait, if this is a sentence in a paragraph, should you use capital N? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's no. No, and do you need a period? Yeah. Yeah. And Marcia is confused again. What is a period? It's a full stop. Dot. Uh -uh. Full stop. And a T. Professor. Oh, Rovini. So we're going to start with impossible is nothing. What else can you use after this? This is the first sentence. A paragraph at least has three sentences. So, any idea um, how you develop this? Yeah, the uh, talking about the the one his product, the most famous, like like oh. His, uh, Remember, yes. you one want second. to use this part. Adidas is one of the most famous sneakers brands ever as the last sentence of the paragraph because that's the thesis statement. So you cannot use that as the second sentence. No, no, no. I mean, explain the, 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 the item. Explaining hmm. how the sneakers are going to be famous. But first, you need to explain this. What is this? When readers first read, impossible is nothing. What does it mean? It's the jargon of ideas. Mm, probably. You can say it like this. You will probably read this when you see. Oh, it's just well. Read or hear it when you see an Adidas advertisement. Okay. Okay. Don't forget. Ding. Uh, in, indented. Indent your paragraph. Okay. You will probably read or hear it when you see an Adidas advertisement. And then what else can you put in the introductory paragraph that leads to Adidas is one of the most famous blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put it here. That's the last sentence. 
We need at least two or one more sentence. Come on, Rafi. Any idea? This is your paragraph. Impossible is nothing. You will probably read or hear it when you see an Adidas advertisement. So the, the, the next sentence is explaining the thesis. Do you you will probably read or hear it or other thing? Mm -hmm. So go on. Impossible is nothing. Oh. Uh, uh, look, the story like the story of. The Adidas founder isn't think that Adidas is going to be exist, but they try to do it, and Adidas is, is mm, possible not? like that, isn't it? So, from is that is that really the story? <laughs> it, um. It is. I think from oh, but basically it went from small scale production into a worldwide oh, production, yeah, yeah. right? Yes, you yes. can use that from a small scale production. Adidas turns into a world white phenomenon phenomenon adidas is now one of the most famous sneakers sneaker brands ever there you go can this be an introductory paragraph yes what does it have what does it have? Thesis statement. A thesis statement. Where's the thesis statement? Adidas is now one of the most famous sneaker brands ever. Thank you. Adidas is now one of the most famous sneakers, sneaker brands ever. Now, what can you put? Because this is the introductory paragraph. We're going to make a concluding paragraph. Hmm. Remember. It's only three statement. Three statement. Hmm. Okay. Nothing is impossible. But <laughs> oh, <God. Bar>, no, <laughs> no, not that, not that kind of restatement. <laughs> the restatement that you, uh, you need to switch. So thesis statement is the last sentence of the introductory paragraph, but in the concluding paragraph, it becomes the first sentence. So this should be the first sentence, but you need to restate this sentence. Now, Adidas mm -hmm. is the most famous sneaker brand ever. That's not restatement, that. Rafi. That's that, that's repositioning, not restatement. Oh, uh, yeah. Adidas is one of the most famous sneakers brand ever because of his quality. And... Wait, you didn't see that in the introductory paragraph. Wait. You didn't write about the most quality. Famous sneaker brands ever. 
is not Adidas. The same as Rofi. Reposition, not restatement. This is what you can do to make a restatement. What's the keyword in the sentence? Famous. The most famous. Famous. Most famous. famous. Got it. This is the keyword. Find me famous synonym on Google. Go. Google, what's the synonym of famous? Oh, well-known. Well-known. Well known. Well known. Okay, we're going to start with a well-known. Now, please make a sentence with well-known and Adidas. Well-known is a word that very sweet for Adidas. Well-known. is the word yes it's the word that that you can use when you describe adidas adidas sneakers there that can be the restatement now what do you want to add to this Remember, a paragraph needs at least three sentences, so you need two or more sentences. Or to make it easier, what is the final thought that you want to put in an Adidas essay? You have to hard work. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? The hard work, the patient, the, the strategy. To, to turn your product into a worldwide phenomenon. Hmm, there you go. So, it really needs, uh, it really does need a lot of hard work to turn your product into a world wide into what Marcia? It really does need a lot of hard work to turn your product <laughs> from a small scale product production to a world. Wait, wait, wait. Don't use that one. Oh, okay. You can use some time. It really does need a lot of hard work to make your product famous or to make your product famous. But then again, nothing is impossible. Oh, impossible is nothing. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Can you see the, the continuity or the, the link between this paragraph with this paragraph? Right? Even though they are not the same sentence, but you can see that if you open a, an essay with this paragraph and you end it with this, people will go, ah, oh, okay. So they connect. Now we need two or one more sentence in the middle, what can we put? Come on, Rafi, let's go. Give me some, some input. Well known is the word that you can use when you describe Adidas sneakers. Blah, 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 blah. And then it really does need a lot of hard work to make your product famous. But then again, impossible is nothing. And Marcia is eating. No, it's ice cube. Oh, it's 
still eating. Uh, Miss, uh, I asked. So the closing is the kebalikan of the opening. Yes, exactly, but excellent. Okay. That's how you do it. All right. So <laughs> if it's a poem, it will be like this. A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you talk about F, E, B, C, D, E, F. No, no. B, 1, B, 2, B, 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, C two, C three, D one, D two, D three. Maybe if you want to add more, you can use E one, E two, E three, and then F, E, B, C, B A. Okay. Do you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. what I want to say here? Like okay, this. Okay. These are the body paragraph, body paragraphs. It explains what you said in the introductory paragraph. And the concluding paragraph is actually a restatement, but still has the same letters, F-E-D-C-B-A. Just a restatement of the introductory paragraph. There you go. Okay. So, come on, give me a sentence. Miss, miss, miss. Mm. miss. Yo, yo. So, can I just copy the <laughs> second text, like from a small scale product production, and it just turns into a worldwide phenomenon. Can I just like switch the word? Sure, let's try. How do you make it different? Uh oh, even though. Adidas is now a worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It it used to be, uh, dulunya small scale production, uh, uh, gitu. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. What is dulunya? <laughs> it was. It used. It used to be a small scale production. Maybe you can use some other words instead of phenomenon. A worldwide trend. A worldwide. Come on, you can find it. Phenomenon, trend, trend. synonym. Trend. Trend. Oh, trend. T -R -E Even though Adidas is now becoming the worldwide trend. Trend for sneakers, it used to be what, Rafi? It used to be uh, even though I just know. It used to be Oh, uh, I don't know. Confused. <laughs> it used to be. Help. Uh, I think this is like it used to be production from the little to the much, like that. It used to be a product of. It used a to few be people. No, I, I mean like this. I mean. I mean like this, Gini, like this. Meskipun Adidas now becoming the worldwide trend for sneakers, but Adidas need to uh, sell or pro pro produce the. Ini dia harus uh, apa? Dia harus memproduksi sedikit sepatu. Did, I, did you get what I thought? No, I actually. No. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so even though Adidas is now becoming the worldwide trend for sneakers, it used to be a man's or yeah, why not? It used to be a man's 
dream or pursuit or how does it start anyway why did adi why did adolf want to make sneakers it used to be one man's production okay why not after his return from world war one mm -hmm. his older brother brother uh wait 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 Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> you don't know why, but it can be yeah. like this. Well known is the word that you can use when you describe Adidas sneakers nowadays. Nowadays. Even though Adidas is now, be is now becoming the worldwide trend for sneakers, it, it, all, it used to be one man's production. It really does need a lot of hard work to make your product famous, but then again, impossible is nothing. There you go. Mm. So that's the FEDCBA of your essay. Okay. Can you see the, the link between the introductory and the uh, concluding paragraph? Yeah. Mm. So that's the 